everybody, I'm Daniela and I'm very glad to be here today at Podere da Nespoli Winery to tell you the story about Prugneto, our Sangiovese di Romagna, traditional historical Sangiovese di Romagna and to do it I choose the perfect location. You can see we are right in the middle of the vineyards. This is the single vineyard of Prugneto where this wine is made, it comes from. Um, this is our historical wine produced since 1929 by the Ravaioli family and they still run the business here so they try to keep the same quality for this wine and uh, well a few things the story of the wine the label that has a very funny uh, story behind and uh, the tasting notes so uh, starting from the tasting notes this wine it's a very fresh fruity, fragrant wine, red wine. Um, uh, the main characteristics are violet and cherry notes. At the first sip, what you can get from, uh, you know, uh, at your nose and you, in your mouth is violet cherry notes with a hint of vanilla, toasty notes, because the, the wine has been aged in oak in the small wooden cask typical from the area for six months. So um, still very fresh and fruity, but with a bit of roundness, and it makes this wine perfect uh, to be matched with food. So it's a kind of foodie wine, I would say foodie wine. So you can actually pair uh, with handmade pasta, fresh pasta, with tomato sauce, with meat, the bolognese sauce, with grilled meat. And you should consider as well that our region here, Emilia Romagna, is, is a region where the tradition of food is really, really um, important. We have um, a tradition for handmade pasta, we make parmesan cheese, parma ham, balsamic vinegar, so the very good stuff comes from here. And this wine is perfect to be matched with the traditional uh, food uh, from this area. Uh, what about the label? So the label is something, as you can see, quite nice, very elegant but rustic at the same time. Basically, Mr. Ravaioli got inspired by the Brigitte Bardot boutique in the south of France. He went there um, at the end of the 50s, more or less. He went there and he found the, the boutique, Brigitte Bardot boutique. And uh, there he wanted to buy something, like a souvenir but everything was really, really expensive for him. So he decided just to ask for a paper bag, a shopping bag. This shopping bag was made by this kind of paper and with all the philosophy of the shop written on the paper with black ink. So he got inspired by this paper and he decided to have the label of Prugnetto make in the same kind of style that was quite a trend, uh, trendy kind of style in that time. So, a bit of tradition, a bit of history, but also innovation. We still um, make Prugneto and we still want to keep the same quality. So, that's all the story of Prugneto from Poderi dal Nespoli Winery. And of course, guy, keep drinking Prugneto, yeah? And uh, we all are waiting for you to welcome you here at the winery to have a proper experience, food and wine experience, and to visit our vineyards. And yeah, well, let's see you soon here. Thank you very much and bye-bye, ciao.